Hello and welcome to part two of my experience with the English program in Korea. It is July 16th. We are almost at the end of the semester. It will end next week. And in three weeks, I will be taking my one week vacation in Taiwan. So I want to continue my video by talking about some of the differences between my first year in Korea as an English teacher in 2013 and this year. So my first year, I did have to attend uh, orientation like everybody, but it was very different uh, from this year. This year I felt like it was much more geared towards uh, people who are serious about teaching, who want to learn techniques, methods, uh, who want to practice and uh, learn all the tricks of the trade if you will. And I felt like my first orientation in 2013 was a lot less formal and less strict and less serious in, in many ways. In addition to the uh, physical orientation where you go to a place in Korea for a week, they now have uh, two additional orientation programs that are online. So before I arrived in Korea, I had to take an online orientation. And then after arriving at my school, we were given a new online orientation that uh, just expired uh, yesterday and I completed it the day before. So it was uh, 15 lessons, uh, each one with lectures on different topics involving uh, teaching English as a second language in Korea. So now you have a pre-orientation before you leave your country, an in-country orientation, and then a post-orientation on teaching methods after you've been in Korea at your school for a few months. Uh, so you are, you do have a lot more responsibilities and uh, are learning more. I see another big difference. Um, I don't know if something has changed or it's because I'm in a, a big city now, but I was offered, all teachers in Daegu were offered a free Korean language class for uh, about two months, I think. Um, and it was once a week for two hours. So that was pretty awesome to have that offered. And uh, let's see, another major difference. My first year, I had one co-teacher, like I said in my first video, uh, who was a man in his 60s. Now, at my elementary school here in Daegu, I have five co-teachers, all women, one of whom is my age, the rest are in their 40s. So that's pretty different. Um, there's no real way to predict that. You could have one co-teacher, you could have five. Um, you could have two, you could have three. I, I have friends who have one, I have friends who also have five, like me. It does take getting used to. It, it took me uh, a few months to really adjust 
to having uh, so many different classrooms, uh, different working with someone different with different experience and different techniques. It does take a while to get used to, and I felt like I was horrible at it, and now that we're reaching the end of the semester, I finally feel like I got the hang of it. Um, Daegu is a great city. If you're looking for a big city, but not Seoul, um, it is more expensive to live in a big city, but it's worth it because there's so many different things to do. Um, I feel like the process of getting here was more difficult because the job is getting more popular and they have cutbacks all the time. So it, it is a little tough. They do have higher standards and requirements now than they did when I went uh, two years ago. Uh, they require more hours for your uh, TEFL certificate. So now I think the minimum is 100. And depending on the city you want to go to, you may have to have actual in-class hours and not uh, fully online. Um, I believe that's about it for what I wanted to explain with my, my experience. So just remember, um, you could possibly find a great private school. I'm sure they exist, but uh, don't make the mistake I did of saying it probably won't happen to me and then getting fired from a job in a foreign country. It's a very stressful experience. So I would recommend Epic if you're considering coming to teach in Korea. And just uh, as a reminder, it does take uh, nearly half a year from the time you apply to the time you arrive. And uh, yeah, that is about it for all I want to cover in this video. I will cover more specific topics about life here in other videos later on. I hope this helped if you are researching this and considering coming here. Thanks for watching.